Hi everyone, it's Muriel. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a Valentine project to share with you. All a part of my Galentine, a happy Galentine uh, little gift giving that I'm going to be doing here in the next couple of weeks. So I've begun creating some uh, things that I want to share with um, 10 of the ladies and some others. Um, so today I uh, finished up the Galentine cards that I wanted to make and I am sharing um, them with you. I'm using this paper collection, Romance by Authentique, and it's ver very romantic and very vintage. I didn't have a paper pad that was cute and funny and whimsical. This is all that I have, and I'm trying to use up the things that I have. So if it's too much love for you, if it's too much um, romance for you, I apologize. <laughs> I tried to, some parts I covered up some things and in others I just couldn't because it would take away from the card. So anyway, without further ado, I'll share you the cards. I'll share with you the envelopes I wanted to make, I made. I didn't want to um, create uh, my envelopes from uh, pattern paper. I wanted something a little more delicate or something a little more that would kind of uh, yin and yang with the card. The card is a very romantic card, very sweet card, so I wanted um, vellum uh, paper and I created a template for the envelopes so let me just stop talking and show you what I've done um, again this is a 2019 uh, paper collection from Authentique and it's double-sided really pinks pretty pinks even has some black and white in there which is really nice and it also came with a die cut sheet and I've used a few of the stamps. I use all four of the stamps. Um, I will be using all four of the hearts to put on the envelopes beside the person's name. And um, I use something here, something there, and then two things down here. So let me show you the cards are, oh goodness, they are um, like a four and a quarter, a four and a half by three and a half. Uh, yeah, four and, a, four and a half by three and a half. So they're like note cards. I didn't want anything bigger than that. I'm learning my lesson because any dimensional cards that I've been mailing lately have been costing over $3. I mailed some birthday cards the other day. I shared with you those. And they would have taken three regular stamps. So I just had her ring it up, whatever it costs. And I'm sure they were a buck fifty each. So... This time I'm trying to send these cards in a regular postage stamp. So this one here, and what I did was I used the cut apart that come in with the paper collection, and then I just added a little bit of me to the card. So in this one here, here is the uh, cut apart on top, and I took my gold pen, leaf pen, and I learned this trick from Nurse Tara. Hi, Tara, and just kind of went around the edge of the uh, cut apart just to separate it from the background. And then I painted this uh, chipboard frame. It is part of the Michaels frames. Um, I saw them the other day when I was in the store. They come in a pack of these three. So this red one was just a little too red. So I took a uh, dauber paint, um, shell pink and painted it because I wanted to um, circle out that you stole my heart phrase. And then just put two pink gems on the side. The inside of the cards are all the same. They haven't been addressed or, you know, put anything in them. Uh, but they all look the same. And then I'm using that stamp I found at the thrift store uh, for you with love and a heart in the center. Um, here is the... Here's one that I put in the vellum envelope. I just think it, look, it looks so, so sweet. And these envelopes I did create with a template, and I'll share that with you. Okay, here's the second one. The cut apart says, uh, love old sweet songs. This one I did nothing to. <laughs> I left this one as it is. Again, the inside paper. Now, the envelope is a vellum envelope. And this is one of the stamps from the cut apart sheet. And it looks a little different than the normal envelopes that I make. And that's what I was looking for. So I did a template and I'll show that to you uh, when we finish going through the cards. All of the vellum envelopes have stamps on them. 
Some of them are from the Michael sticker sheet. And then you'll recognize the ones that are from the paper collection, which is this one here, this one, and this one. So you only got four. Okay. So here's another card. What I did was use a die that I have from... Um, here is the... There were two in a pack. So here is the larger of the two. It looks like this. So it cuts out the frame and then you get that inner part. So the frame is what I put around this uh, book paper. And then the word love... Oh goodness, I use one of these gem hearts and I just accentuated that. And then this is a sticker you've seen it from, I believe it's Maggie Holmes collection. I just had a couple of words left on the sheet. So that there. So I pulled it off and used it on the card. Okay, this one here, I did the same thing. I took the gold leaf pen and outlined the cut apart and then just put four hearts on the corner. That was all I did with this one. It's lined on the inside as well. Okay. okay, this one here probably is my favorite because I ran across this foil um, washi tape that I had no clue that I had. But again, it was in the box of stuff I have. It's beautiful red foil. And I just outlined the cut apart with the foil. And left everything on this card alone, too. And it's the background paper of a um, kind of a, like a wooden, I can't think what that's called. But, you know, it's really pretty pink. Okay. And then this one here, same thing, gold um, uh, pin around the cut apart. And then three of the flowers. These are little birdie flowers that I uh, picked up at Tuesday morning some time ago. And then on this one, I also put some stickles around the uh, Love You Forever. Okay. This one here, the cut apart, I put a frame, wood grain, that's what it is, around the cut apart. And then this is from the sticker sheet, Spread Love. And then I just put a five little um, pearl um, gems on the bottom there. Okay. And that is, where's that at? That's, everything is just falling apart, I tell you. Um, I have a trash can down here, and many times when stuff falls, it falls right in the trash can. <laughs> and I have to, here it is, I have to kind of dig it out later. This is a uh, sheet of those pearl gems, really pretty. Okay, so that's all that was done to this card. This one here. I put some stickles on her bow in her hair, three of the jimmies here, and then I just took us uh, cut apart from the sheet. You make my heart smile, and I pumped it up on some black, and I don't know why I use black dimensional uh, foam. I should use white, but nonetheless, that's that card there. And this one here has this beautiful image in black and white. And I put some pink stickles on the flower bouquet that she had. And then I put a heart inside this. I don't know if this is a pillow that he's holding. And again, the um, sweetness is from the sticker sheet. And that was all that it took to finish this card. Okay, this one here. Um, the little boy was writing on the wall, kisses from your... And it said something little boyfriend or whatever and I just used um, this die cut here XOXO and uh, covered it up and put some stickles some um, diamond stickles on the kisses from you so that glitters okay that was all to that one this one here I added some white or clear um, gems to the center of the flowers and then here is another strip from the cut apart sheet together forever and then put that pink wood grain frame around that cut apart and then this last one here you can see I use one of the frames from Michaels which is really pretty to highlight you and me the you and me has the stickles on it and I did the gold pin around the outside and then a little flower here, and that's from Michaels. 
So I'm glad I got all these done. It was really, really fun to work with cut apart, um, especially when you don't have a lot of time to really create. And I think they're really going to look sweet when they get inside the envelope. I'm just going to sit down one day next week and um, write what I want to say inside to these ladies. And I wanted them to be able to see the um, envelope from the the card from the uh, through the envelope. And then the stamp is right there. And on the back, I'll have something else here. So that will conclude my cards and envelopes. Now, the envelopes that I made, again, I told you I created those. And if you want to write down the template information, I'll give that to you. But basically, I took a 8.5 by 11 sheet of vellum and I cut it in half. So here is your, you know, sh your eight and a half by 11 sheet. I cut it in half, so I end up getting a five and a half by um, 11 sheet of paper, vellum. Okay, from this, I did some scoring. So um, the eight and a half by 11, you wanna cut it in half so that you have this five and a half by, um, five excuse me five and a half by eight and a half excuse me on that and then on the eight and a half side which is the longer side you're going to score at three and you're going to score at six and three fourths and then on the five and a half inch side you're going to score at half an inch and you're going to score at five and one fourth Okay, and when you finish, it's going to look like this. Okay, and then you can see what I did was I cut out the part here, 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 and here. Okay, and it'll kind of look like, I got so many samples here. It'll kind of look like this. It'll look straight. And then what, what I did was took the scissors, as you know, what we do is we um, snip off that edge right so that it'll fold nicely so you just go in like that snip off a little bit of it and you do that on both sides then I didn't want the pointy corners so I took my crop dial on the half inch and made those corners round right so they look really nice and then you just put your tape, and I put my uh, double-sided score tape, I put it on this side, not on here, because you put it on here, it'll stop right there, and you won't have tape on this longer side. Fold it over, there's your vellum envelope. So, that was all I did there, you guys. Thank you for watching. I am making progress. I think I'm going to be working on, um, first I'm going to go downstairs and do my daughter's hair. And then I'm going to be coming back up working on some embellishments. I always admire the embellishments, the embellishments that uh, Shane, uh, Shara, Shara Crane makes. Absolutely talented, oozing out of her pores. And um, I did some, she made some little paper, um, paper clip. Halloween embellishments and I just and then she has some other ones so I just kind of want to take a variety of the things that she's done and just kind of make a compilation so I'm just going to try it again I have trays and trays of embellishments little pieces of this little pieces of that that I need to use so we're going to see what that looks like but I did want to come on and show you guys these Galentine cards I appreciate you watching please leave me a comment down below if you have any questions on the um envelope let me know if you want me to show you how it's made. Let me know and I will do so. Okay, you guys take care until my next video. Bye now.